Hello everybody, this is Sonia and welcome and welcome back to my YouTube creative studio. For today I prepared video tutorial how to crochet this amazing and very very easy puff poncho with two rectangles. The pattern notes you will find as always in the box below this video and written pattern is available for free at my website. I use this yarn Priya. It's 100% acrylic and in 100 uh, grams wool there are 245 meters. You will need uh, 7 millimeters crochet hook, some scissors, tapestry needle. If you like to use stitch markers, please prepare two pieces. And I will also prepare tape measure and I will do the measurement during my crocheting. This poncho is uh, made up with two basic rectangles and we will start with the shorter side which is at the bottom of the uh, poncho. This poncho is M size but you can very easily make it smaller or bigger. I will give you the instructions in my written pattern. So let's start with a foundation chain and make a foundation chain as long as you wish but make sure it's a multiple of 4 plus 1. I made 53 chains which is 13 times 4 plus 1 and the measure is 43 centimeters 17 inches. We will work in rows. So chain one and insert the hook in the second chain from your hook and make a single crochet. Perfect. Then chain one, skip one chain and place a single crochet in next stitch. Chain one, skip one and a single crochet in next. Chain one, skip one and a single crochet in next stitch. Chain one, skip one and a single crochet in next stitch. So easily speaking you make single crochet in every second chain and chain one between single crochet stitches. So you alternate chain one and a single crochet. And you can continue along the chain till you reach the end. And at the end there are two stitches left. So you will place one single crochet in each. So you will have two single crochets at the end and chain one and one single crochet at the beginning. Let me count chain one spaces. There should be 25 chain one spaces. 25, perfect. And we will work in chain one spaces in next row. Chain three, which is my first double crochet. Then your work. <laughs> Harry, it's my, it's my lovely cat. <laughs> Hello, will you spend some time with us? <laughs> okay, so and now I will place a puff stitch in the first chain one space. So we are on one, two, and three. Now pull yarn through all loops on your hook. And then chain one. You can fix the puff with a really tight chain one if you want to. Okay, we can do it next time. Then one more puff stitch in the same chain one space. So once yarn over, twice, and third time. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, and pull yarn through all loops on your hook. Let's fix the puff with a tight chain one and then chain one. 
skip chain one space and in next one place again a puff stitch one two three three times yarn over then pull yarn through all loops on your hook and fix it with chain one then chain one and one more puff stitch in the same chain one space where we just finished the first puff okay three times yarn over and pull yarn through all loops on your hooks and fix it with very tight chain one and then chain one so easily speaking in every second chain one space you have two puff stitches and you always chain one between puffs okay i will finish my last pair of puff stitches chain one and the last puff in the same chain one space perfect and then finish the row with a double crochet which is placed in the last stitch so we started with chain three as our first double crochet and we finish with a double crochet as well and we have 13 pairs 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 pairs of double crochet stitches. Row number 3. Chain 3 and turn your work. Chain 3 is our first double crochet. Now please find the first chain 1 space which is between puff stitches and again place two puff stitches in this chain one space and always chain one between puff stitches so chain one and one more puff stitch in the same chain one space two and three Pull yarn off through, through all loops on your hook and chain one. And again we will place two puff stitches in here in between two puff stitches from the previous row. So one puff stitch, chain one and one more in the same chain one space perfect chain one and again place two puff stitches between two puff stitches from the previous row and chain one between puff stitches all of us and this is it my crochet friends I told you this pattern is super super easy I use only puff stitches chain between them and I started with chain 3 which is my double crochet and finish the row with double crochet placed in the third chain from the previous row and this is it and you can very easily repeat this row work back and forth and finish the row with a double crochet placed in the third chain from the previous row like this this is it and chain three turn your work and repeat the instructions till you have the perfect rectangle 
do two back stitches in between two packs from the previous row and chain one between them okay so one two and three now pull yarn through all loops on your hook and chain one okay I love to fix the puff stitch with a chain one, very tight chain one, but uh, you can uh, do it or not, it's absolutely up to you, it's just my recommendation to have a really nice puff. Okay, so this is it. So you can continue and I will meet you once you have your rectangle finished. We will do the measurement and I will show you how to assemble two basic rectangles and how to create a perfect poncho. So I will measure this part one more time it's uh, 45 centimeters 17.8 inches this is the pattern with puff stitches so uh, it's a little bit longer than the foundation chain we started with and voila <laughs> this is it this is my first rectangle I love it. It's so soft. I love the colors. They are amazing. And I will count the rows. I made 46 rows. 46. And they are absolutely the same number of stitches. So it's a perfect rectangle. So you have 13 pairs of uh, puff stitches in each row. I fold it in half and the half measures 42 centimeters, 16.5 inches. So you see when you fold it in half, it's a, almost a square. So let's make two of the same rectangles and I will show you how to assemble them. So this is my first one and we will shape the v-neck on the top. And I pulled the top of first rectangle in quarter on the top of the rectangle. And I will do the same with the second rectangle. One rectangle is fold down and one is fold up and you will match the corners the bottom corners and shape the v-neck and this is it we will sew or you can crochet the sides this one and this one and I fold about a quarter on the top of each rectangle. You can fold more or less to make a perfect v-neck. I will measure the neckline on the top. Okay, so one side has 20 centimeters. 8 inches okay 8 inches so all together the circumference is 40 uh, 80 centimeters and 32 inches okay and you see how I fold my poncho so the rectangle folded in half and the half fold in half again so it's about a quarter, okay, fold in half and in half and 
this is the, the quarter which creates a lovely v-neck on the top of poncho and you see you can place the puff stitches going down or going up increasing and we will join this short side so it's up to you how you place uh, your rectangles with the, the you see the puff stitches going up like uh, they are growing or they are going down so I leave this decision up to you and now we have to count 26 rows we have 26 puff stitches in each row and I will join one puff stitch with one row okay so it's a perfectly 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 and 13 pairs of puff stitches which is 26 rows joined together with the last row of puff stitches and you can sew the layers or you can you can join them or crochet them together so I will use my crochet hook I will finish the last double crochet and you know me I love to use crochet hook so insert the hook and the first stitch on the opposite rectangle and I will use single crochet stitches so make a single crochet then insert the hook between the uh, double crochet and the puff stitch and the same on the opposite side and make a single crochet then insert the hook on the top of the first puff and in the gap where the double crochet started and make a single crochet then place two double crochets between two puff stitches and along the double crochet on the opposite side then join the puff stitch the top of the puff stitch and here this is the the place where the double crochet started jo join it with a single crochet again two single crochets between puff stitches and um, around the double crochet on the opposite side and again join the top of the puff stitch and the beginning of double crochet again two single crochets between two puffs and around the double crochet on the opposite side so I join my uh, two rectangles with single crochet stitches always join the top of the puff and the beginning or the where you start the double crochet this is the point where the double crochet is placed in the uh, third chain you know so this is the place and look at my work there are single crochet stitches and I will turn it like this and this is the right side okay so the single crochet stitches are on the wrong side they will not be visible you will just nicely joint you will see just nicely joint um, uh, rectangles on the right side so you can keep continue crocheting along the side Voila! <laughs> I just joined uh, 26 rows and with 
26 uh, puff stitches and I'm at the end I just reach the marker this is it so cut the yarn and hide the end and your first seam is finished okay so I just quickly sew the end on the wrong side this is it At the end and we will do the same on the opposite side of your rectangles okay so this is the first seam match the corners on the bottom of your poncho just to be sure we are on the right uh, folding this is it perfect for the second rectangle in one quarter you see it's the, the same length okay the same fold but uh, the second rectangle okay and again join 26 rows okay so it's super easy to create poncho with the same rectangles so count 26 rows okay I will place the marker there and you see there is the seam and here is the seam okay this is the rest of a wall so I will need the gray color as there is the gray on the last row of the rectangle yeah my scissors here <laughs> okay so if you have a chance to uh, match the colors it would be perfect if you will um, use the same color as you have on your last row make a slip knot so I will use the gray color and I will start here and now you will see it from the opposite uh, point of view so I will again match uh, the puff stitches and the double crochet stitches at the end of the row I will use single crochet stitches and I will again place two single crochets between two puff stitches and I will join the top of puff stitches with uh, the beginning of double crochet so this is it this is where the double crochet started and this is the top of puff stitch and I will place a single crochet here and again two single crochets around the double crochet and they are between two puff stitches on the opposite rectangle and there is a single crochet on the top of puff stitch and in between um, double crochet so where double crochet join the, the third chain and again you can keep continue crocheting till you reach the end okay use single crochet stitches you can also sew the sides it's uh, up to you or you can use uh, uh, the slip stitching but I love to uh, work around uh, the double crochet stitches it's uh, really nice on the right side so this is it I reach the end so you can cut the yarn and please hide all ends 
and voila, I just finished the assembly, both uh, rectangles are joined together, you see the corners uh, on the bottom are perfectly matched, so here is the seam and here, so, <laughs> so look at this poncho, it's so soft, I love the colors, I love the these colors combination and this is the v-neck if you want to make it shorter please fold your poncho not in a quarter but in about one fifth of uh, the longer side so this is it my crochet friends you already know how to crochet this amazing puff poncho you know how to assemble two basic rectangles this poncho is for m size but you can very easily make it bigger or smaller i used seven millimeters crochet hook and i used up four balls so thank you very much for watching my crochet friends if you like this video tutorial please give me your thumb up and don't hesitate to share this video tutorial with your friends and in case of any questions please put a comment in the box below this video i would be happy if you subscribe to my channel my written patterns are available for free wish you happy crocheting take care and bye for now